Hi friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about if activity in UiPath Studio. As I already covered many activities under control flow statements in our previous videos, this is one among our control flow statement. So we have multiple loops, we have multiple activities to control the flow of execution in UiPath Studio. So let us see what or um, what is this if statement and before continue to this if you want to learn more in detail about the other activities too in uh, which covers under control flow statement you can watch them using the links provided below in description box. So what is if there might be a chance to get this question in your interview. So what does this if activity do? In which scenario you have to use if activity? What is the difference between if and other activities, other control flow statement activities in UiPath Studio? To answer those questions, please follow me in this video. So what is if? If, the name itself says, if suppose the condition is true, do this. If suppose the condition is false, do this. So we have three properties in if activity in UiPath that is condition, then and else. So we'll be having a space where we can write, we can use the space to, to add few activities under then branch similar to this else branch. So if a condition is met to true, then branch a sequence of set uh, a sequence of activities will be, will get executed similarly if the condition is false else branch will be executed so whatever what all the actions or activities will be there in the else sequence those activities will get executed so i think you got this clear information on if usage so let us move on to a practice session Let us have a new sequence, say if example and quickly write an annotation for this. Let me repeat this, giving annotations is a very good practice, coding practice, right? So this sequence provides an example on how to use if activity okay done so now let me show you how this if activity looks so see condition then branch and if you click on the show else it will show the else branch too so there are three properties here condition where we have to write the condition and then branch it is a sequence so you can add n number of activities in the sequence similarly in else block also you can write you can add n number of activities here now let us move on to this let me show you properties got it so condition so now when to use this if activity why can't we go for other activities, other looping activities or other control flow statements, other control flow activities? Let me give you an example. If there is a, a railway station where a uh, uh, railway station ticket counter okay you may be aware of uh, this one right like uh, if uh, based on the age if the if the senior if the passenger is a senior citizen they will get some 10 percent or 15 percent um, of uh, deduction in the ticket fare right so how to calculate that so calculate the ticket fare based on age for senior citizen okay give 10 percent 
से टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट इन द फेयर इफ for senior citizens okay now see uh, in this uh, scenario to give 10% discount to the senior citizens we have only two options either the passenger what are the two options one is passenger could be a senior citizen another option is passenger is not a senior option a senior citizen only two right there is no other uh, um, discount uh, which are provided by the ticket counter here only two ways either they are senior citizen give 10% otherwise give 10% otherwise straight away 0% only two so now think about uh, the available control flow statements here in ui path uh, say if while do while for each all this right out of those now now you decide which one to which one is the best one as i told if statement is used to execute a set of statements based on the condition if it is true or just pass on to the other condition so if they if there are only two sequences see here if there are only two sequences if if the if the condition is met do one sequence if not do another sequence in such scenario we can, we have to go for if so straight away we can use if here right so first we we should learn uh, we should know about the input age of this c passenger right how to know this so suppose first let us take the input age then calculate let us say validate if age is greater than 60 years right then what to do the age is 60 years that means senior citizen right so for senior citizen how we are supposed to redu reduce some 10 percent from the ticket fare so now reduce 10 percent from ticket fare say let us say the ticket fare is ticket fare for example is 500 rupees then what will be the this this uh, senior citizens ticket fare it should be 500 minus 50 will be something around 4 450 rupees got it so now if if based on the validation this is the condition if suppose it is less than 60 years then 500 that's it only two options now let us see how to do this okay so we already had uh, this if let me remove this first let us take an input from the passenger so we need to get the passenger age then let us give hi please give passenger age okay now we need to pass this to we need to save this in a int variable age okay now as soon as you create a variable we are supposed to check the variable type whether it has created in a proper scope or not that's it got it so now so now that we have age here now we need to decide whether the age is greater than 60 years or not in that scenario we are supposed to use if condition 
so what is our condition now if age is greater than or equal to 60 years okay then then what we are supposed to do we are supposed to give the ticket fare so let us have a ticket fare control k int ticket fare and let me change this to int also let me change the scope so it has created by default okay fine now what should be the ticket fare if the age is greater than 60 it should be 550 okay now in else block let us have an assign activity here to assign the ticket fare if it is less than less than 60 what is the ticket fare it should be 500 so now for easy understanding let me give a message box saying hey you got a discount of 10% on your ticket fare okay now let me give some more in information here using environment.newline for, for beginners of uh, UI part uh, this environment.newline will provide you a new line so the information will be shown in a separate line now your ticket fare is where is our ticket fare it is in int ticket fare super now that ticket fare is in int and it is showing like the, this is this is a string right so we are supposed to convert this to string that's it now similarly in else block also let us add one more message box to say that hey your you are not eligible to get senior citizen discount so let me go for a new line environment dot new line your it fair is where is our ticket fare? It is in int ticket fare. Talk to string. Super. Okay. Now, let me run this one. So see it is asking me hi please give passengers age let me give some 50 hey you are not eligible to get senior citizen discount your ticket fare is zero oh my god why it is showing zero let me go back and check what i have given integer age oh super so you might have gone the uh, um, understood this one right instead of in ticket fare i have given in age that's a blunder let me give int ticket fare and if you see here int age being changed into 60 and then this ticket fare and ticket fare okay fine okay why i have got uh, got um, in ticket fare equals uh, i mean uh, sorry uh, your ticket fare is zero it's because initialized it, it it has nothing here and we have not initialized anything here right 
in, in the complete flow. It simply checked for the validate at the age and it went to sequence, else sequence. Now, let me run this file again. Superb. It is asking for passenger's age. Let me give some 55. So it says, hey, you are not eligible to get senior citizen discount. Your ticket fare is 500 rupees. Exactly. Now, let me run this again. And let us check for the if condition as well. Let us give something around 70 now. Super. Hey, you got a discount of 10% on your ticket fare. Your ticket fare is 450. So I hope you got this um, clarity on if condition, if activity, when to use it and how to use it and what is the difference between this if and other control flow activities in the iPad Studio, right? So if you have, um, uh, if you like this video, please share with your colleagues and your friends and um, please do not forget to subscribe our channel please do subscribe our channel for more videos and meet you through the next video thank you so much bye